Hello everyone, this is Enea here, and in today's tutorial I'll teach you how to draw Odin's triple horn in Affinity Designer. Odin's triple horn is an ancient Nordic symbol consisting of three interlocking horns, and it symbolizes wisdom and poetry. Alright, so to get started we go to File New and we create a new composition. We give it 2000 by 2000 pixels in dimensions, and we click on Create, and then we're going to start drawing the first horn. So we take the ellipse tool, we set the field to none, we leave the stroke as black, and we set the stroke width to 1. And then, while holding shift, we go ahead and we create a circle of around 800 by 800 pixels in dimensions. And then with the move tool, we position the circle somewhere around here, at the bottom right of the composition. And then we are going to need a second circle that needs to be 1.26 times smaller than the first circle. So the way to do this, we press on Ctrl J. And then in the transform panel, we divide the width of the second circle by 1.26. And this gives us the value. And then we copy it and we paste it as a height. So now we have the second circle that is 1.26 times smaller than the first one. And then we take the second circle and we make its midpoint on the left side snap to the midpoint on the left side of the first circle. So now it must be positioned like this. And then we select both circles and we go here to the subtract operator to remove the area of the second circle from the first one. So this gives us this shape, it is going to be our first horn. And then we go here to the color panel. We set the stroke to none and the fill to black. And then we're going to use this first horn to create the two other horns that we need for the figure. So first we're going to rotate the horn by around minus 35-36 degrees. So now it must be positioned like this. And then we're going to rotate it, so we go here to enable transform origin. And we set the rotation center somewhere around here, towards the top left, and slightly underneath the inner edge of the horn. So it must be positioned here. And then we press on enter to bring out the move duplicate panel. We check on duplicate. We set the numbers of copy to 2. And we set the rotation angle to 120 degrees. And we click on OK. So now we have all three horns that we need to complete the figure. And then we press on Ctrl A to select all three horns. We take the Shape Builder tool. We set the action to minus. And first we are going to remove the part here, the part here, and the part here. And then we switch the action to plus. And we're going to connect the three elements here, the three elements here, and the three elements here. And then we connect the three elements here, the three elements here, and the three elements here. And then we need to create the gaps between the elements of the horn. So in order to do that, we take the contour tool. We leave the contour type to round. And we diminish the radius to around minus six. As you can see, this creates the gaps between the elements of the figure. And then we take the Move tool. We center the figure in the middle of the composition. And then we can rotate it a bit so that it sits horizontally. We can scale it up while holding Ctrl and Shift. And also, if we want, we can add a bit of color. So I'll set it to dark red and give it also a bit of noise. Alright, so that was it for this tutorial. You learned how to draw Odin's triple horn in Affinity Designer. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something from it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Affinity Designer tutorials in the future. And until then, see you next time. Bye!